Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com. Today I just wanted to show you how you can create some uh, animated effects in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint using um, some simple icons. So uh, going from a you know, lock to unlock, a closed eye to open eye, uh, closed door to an open door. Let me just show you the effect really quick. So um, I'll toggle back and forth. You'll see how things go from one state to another state. So uh, let's go ahead and get into that slide and, and show you uh, basically what I did. And uh, we have the animation pane, and I'd also like to show the selection and visibility pane as well so you can see what's what. But um, essentially what I've done is I've, um, I've layered these objects on top of each other, exactly on top of each other, um, and then done an appear and a disappear effect. So, um, you can see these are all appears and these are disappears. Well, let's go ahead and just strip those out so I can show you guys how to build this from scratch. Um, so let's say the we want the initial state to be uh, locked, eye closed, door closed. So that's going to be what's on screen to start. So we're going to make the other ones appear. So make that appear, this appear, and this appear. And we can just go up to our animation pane and we just go appear. And by doing all three at the same time, it actually made it all um, start with previous. They're all going to happen at the same time. So, uh, so that's good. Um, and um, that way I don't have to do each one individually. And I can do the same thing here. And let me just run that and show you what happened if I didn't, um, if I didn't do the disappear. Um, you'd have it appear on top of itself. Here I have them not on top of each other, but you'd have it show up. Well, what we need to happen is the exact same time you want everything else to disappear. So let's go back into PowerPoint and we want to make these ones disappear. Um, and we want the selection pane open. So those three are selected and add animation. We want the disappear. So there's the disappear. So let's preview that and show actually um, they won't happen at the same time right now. I'll show you what happens. So right, it's two separate steps and we want them to happen at the same time. So we go to this first one and we go start with previous. Now let me show you what that looks like. Great. Well now what you need to do is layer them on top of each other. So let's go ahead and align these two. I, has, I set these up in my quick access toolbar. I have another lesson showing you how to do it, but it helps me with my alignment. So align objects bottom, align objects bottom, and bottom. These ones look good. The eye doesn't look quite right, so I'm going to go ahead and nudge this with the arrow keys. That looks pretty good to me. These ones look okay. Let's go ahead and preview that. Let me get my mouse out of the way. That looks pretty good. Anyways, it's just a different way to think about how to use animations in PowerPoint um, using the appear disappear effect. Um, I do that a lot with characters as well um, where I'll change facial expressions. So I'll, I'll layer two people right on top of each other and do an appear disappear. Say go from uh, you know a listening state to a surprise state or an angry state. Um, and I think I have some lessons on that as well but uh, you can just basically apply the same effect. Hope you found that useful. Uh, I have a bunch of other um, a bunch of other lessons on icons and animations so you can uh, visit uh, elearningart.com um, to access more of those lessons um, or find me on my YouTube page. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much. Take care.